I've been trying to figure out why that clip of that girl dancing to Taylor Swift pissed me off so much. Like, it shook me to my core. And then I realized it's because that girl's so heavy that wherever she was dancing, I felt it here in California. But I actually understand why that clip pissed me and so many other people off. It's because if that girl put as much energy into saving her life as she does dancing to Taylor Swift at one of her concerts, maybe she'd be at a healthier weight and she'd live a decent life and she wouldn't be the butt of so many jokes. But see, this is the power that Taylor Swift has over people. She has the power to garner support and beckon even the most slovenly sedentary people into coming to her shows and dancing as if they're on fire. It's like some dark Sith Lord magic. It's insane. I'm convinced at this point, Taylor Swift could just fart on a microphone, upload it to Spotify, and immediately have an army of retarded bitches filming themselves crying in their cars talking about how Tay-Tay's fart encapsulates their life in a way that no one else could. Fans are now pointing out this strange sound mishap that happens when Taylor is speaking. Take a listen. Starring Scott Eastwood. Here's the video. Not gonna lie, it does sound suspicious. trying to be mean, but we as a society have deemed these grown adults as being personally and mentally developed enough to internalize complex issues and vote upon them, which could drastically change your and my way of life. I'm joking. Votes don't count. We both know that. Nothing you do in the voting booth matters. It's all up to the tunnel Jews. They decide what happens in our day-to-day -day life. A hidden tunnel was discovered under a synagogue right in the heart of Brooklyn. Alright, so you want to talk about epic trolling? That clip of the tunnel Jew that I was pulling to do the bit was posted to YouTube by the Turkish Public Broadcast Service, and they themselves added that Mario noise. It wasn't me. So, I know Turks don't like Jews very much. The leader of Hamas actually just took a picture with the president of Turkey, so, um... Yeah, what are you trying to say, okay? It's funny when I joke about the tunnel Jews, but when you do it, it's, a, it's still very funny, actually. And if you're interested in this misinformation, you want to see more of this tunnel Jews propaganda, please support me on Patreon and join the ranks of other people who are 100% probably not gay. Okay, so today we're talking about Taylor Swift, billionaire singer-songwriter, sweet, innocent, all-American girl next door, terrible at giving head. I don't know that for a fact, but I mean, come on. She has all these songs and they're all about dudes leaving her. And it's like, okay, Taylor, you're in all these relationships and at some point you gotta ask, Ask if like maybe you're the problem. Maybe you need to knock it off with the dry hand jobs and start learning how to give some quality sloppy toppy. Uh. Now, currently, she's in a committed relationship with Travis Kelsey, NFL superstar, and uh, he's most famous for signing a $20 million contract with Pfizer to uh, support and promote the vaccines. I'm not kidding. And speaking of injections, oh, I've been seeing a bunch of like memes and uh, like weird posts online about how, ooh, this couple is so cute. I bet their sex is incredible. I bet Travis is tearing it up and Tay Tay's just loving it. It's like, dude, look at her. Okay, like, like, dude, if, if, he, if he's happy, that's fine. But I guarantee you, them having sex probably sounds like someone throwing a handful of chalk against a window. And I'm having some fun here making fun of Taylor Swift, but the truth is, she's not the target of my anger today. I'm not here to turn on my camera and dunk on Tay-Tay. I mean, sure, she's a very influential liberal leftist artist with an incredibly formulaic, bland music catalog. And I've personally seen more curves on a 2 by 4 wooden plank. But my main concern is actually this bizarre hive mind that kind of obsesses over her and follows her every move. It's like a cult that's somehow worse than Disney adults. It's weird. It's like the second you think that we've hit rock bottom, it somehow gets way, way deeper. This group of Swifties, as they like to call themselves, truly believe that Taylor Swift is talking to them specifically with each song she sings. <laughs> They resonate with every simple thought she has. They hang off of every cliche metaphor she uses. <laughs> they 
they champion her as if she's some profound philosophical genius. But in reality, Taylor Swift is a business. And this business's only aim is to make money. They produce a very cookie cutter product. And that product is meant to be palatable by the broadest demographic possible. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Because I mean, you look at her music catalog and of course all her songs sound the same. They literally follow the same formula. She has a team of producers that make damn sure each of their products do not deviate much from one another. Because again, they need the products to sell. They don't need things to be different. They don't need things to be edgy. They don't need to take risks. In other words, nothing special, just very consumable. And again, I just want to reiterate, I have zero issue with how they go about producing the product and how they go about selling it because, hey, make your money. I don't have any issue with that. My issue is the fact that you mention anything I just said right now to a Swifty and they get more militant and violent than like a Palestine supporter. Don't forget to speak very, very clearly. Allahu Akbar. Jokes aside, I've actually tried to break down the reason these Swifties are the way they are, so here it is. Number one, you are gay. And uh, I, I'm not just saying that to be funny, like man or woman, if you are a Swifty, you are more than likely a gay person. The men that resonate with her music and cry and weep when she sings a song and says, oh, that's so me. Yeah, dude, you are gay. And for the women that cry when they hear Taylor Swift and, uh, oh my God, I love her so much. Yeah, you, you are gay. You're, you, you're gay. Number two, you are generally unlikable and you lack social skills. So of course you're gonna attach yourself to someone or something that you'll never actually ever have to interact with in person because again, chances are you are never going to be able to interact with Taylor Swift in a social setting. So um, yeah, your kind of social deficits will never be on display. You can just listen to her songs and become obsessed with her and then feel emptiness inside. Number three, and this is kind of the saddest one of all, you lack significance in life, so instead of seeking God, you choose to worship Taylor Swift. I mean, hear me out. You sing her songs, you pray to her, you defend her, you try to convert others. This is all a very shallow attempt at attaching yourself to something larger than yourself, because that is kind of a human need. And you can do it through God, and I'm not here to, you know, preach to anyone. You can do whatever you want. But trying to fill the emptiness you feel inside with a pop idol is not gonna be fulfilling. It's not gonna make you happy long term. And you're gonna end up being one of these weird, kooky, brainwashed people filming themselves crying in their car, drooling because you heard a Taylor Swift song. It's like you literally heard the voice of God. But it's not the voice of God. It's the voice of some weasel looking billionaire with no ass and zero sex appeal, doesn't know you exist, doesn't care you exist, only cares that you're listening to her music and paying her bills, and is busy baking cookies honoring one of the worst presidents we've ever had in our life. But either way, everything is gay. Special thanks to my Everything is Gay Patreon. Here are the dudes that are 100% probably not gay. Brad, Dick Dallas, Adam A, John Kingston, what the quan, your way into beautiful girl. If you want to join, then uh, please click the link in the description below and you get a bunch more content there and it's a whole lot of fun. What are you doing? What are you, gay? Mm -hmm.